in this reading, we are going to pull cards on what is going on with you right now, the person or situation situation that you are dealing with or that's on your mind and look at their current energies, your current energies and what is going to come of it. So just to show you pre-shuffle, strong energy of a tower, something big, some kind of blow up. Um, and then it looks like there's walking away. Somebody kind of fled, but it looks like they retreated either to family or friendships or just to be off on their own, maybe went quiet. Um, but it has a major turnaround here. We've got Ten of Cups, Progress, the Three of Wands, Hierophant, Truth, Clarity. This is something stable, secure. Um, and then the Six of Cups. So somebody from the past returning. We don't really know how that's all going to play out yet because we haven't done a reading. That was just pre-shuffle, but I felt like those were strong enough cards to share. Also, the pre-shuffle always kind of gives me that when the cards start flying out during a pre-shuffle, that is when I know to stop shuffling, and that's when I typically start um, start uh, or turn on the camera. So, how are you? Let's go ahead and draw your first card. Queen of Swords, a lot of thought. It's actually your card. So, the sword is down. So, somebody maybe is settling down after a... Uh, it's like a calmness maybe after you know there's a there's a very calm thinking energy here so we're looking at the person on your mind right now there's that ten of wands something that's been burdening them and there's the six of cups again so yeah y'all's energy is super strong um so the person the situation person on your mind is very deep in thought about something that's been going on for a while something that is maybe has a heavy energy and then we also have this return energy with the six of cups Okay, so Nine of Wands, how they view the situation. Nine of Wands, that's that's very good if you don't want this person to give up because that's very much of a not giving up energy, perseverance. But they there is a lot of thought about, about the journey. The energies could be reversed, so keep that in mind. And of course, it is a general reading, so don't force it. We've got Five of Wands, there's conflict. There's, um, this five of wands is kind of, it's not as severe as a five of swords. It's conflict, bickering, it could be competition, but there's a, a, maybe an inner conflict here because maybe it just has been, there's been a lot of trying, it's been going on. Something, it could be another situation, but something has been just, um, has, somebody's been carrying a lot. Look at this, Knight of Cups. So you got somebody definitely coming back or coming in towards you. Wow. The Knight of Cups right underneath the Six of Cups. So it does appear that it may not be expected. Next actions. Well, it looks like they're working on some healing and inner growth. That's good. Chariot. This popped out in pre-shuffle also or caught my eye chariot that's could be travel um but it is definitely again in the same row as perseverance even though there's conflict somebody doesn't want to give up they want to there's a perseverance energy you keep trying um this looks good if this is somebody that you want six of swords that's the element of leaving something difficult somebody may have to whoops i don't know what just fell Somebody may have to travel long distance for this. You guys also, I've got the pendulum here. You guys be asking, thinking of a yes, no question. At the end, we will ask a yes, no question. So six of swords. So we're going to have to clarify that. There's the ace of wands. <clears throat> Passionate new beginning. I'm kind of a mess here, aren't I? I don't have a very good camera angle. Let me see. What is going on here? So my uh, son just took my camera off the tripod and put the GoPro on here um, just to show me, like, because he was trying to push me into using the GoPro, which I'm, you know, just not used to yet. But I'm probably going to do use the GoPro for the next reading. But anyway, it messed up my angle. I put my camera back on, but I forgot to check the angle.
Okay, let's see what's going on. I'm very curious about the Six of Swords. There you are also um, at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the person or situation you're dealing with, Queen of Swords. You guys do me a favor, please, 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 if you haven't yet. I've seen that only like 80%, only like 20% of my regular viewers who watch the channel regularly are subscribed. Please, please subscribe. Show support for the channel by subscribing. It helps the channel, helps me, means the world to me. And it helps, I think, more than you could possibly know. Um, okay, look at this. There it is again. The Hierophant. Strong energies. Taurus, Virgo energy. Queen of Swords. This person is really thinking about the truth. And really, it's interesting because this is like a downhill. And that looks like stairs going upward. Somebody's really contemplating how to... I don't know if it's travel, move toward you. Lots of thought about this um, Hierophant. The Hierophant is clarifying the, and there it is that again. Look at that. Maybe somebody is going home, planning a trip to go home. Hmm. Getting back to someone from the past. So Ace of Cups. Two aces, love and passion. I, you know what it, I, this has a feel for me, is somebody is just kind of like figuring out or having a realization what it is like back home to their roots, like something, what it is that makes them truly happy, despite like what on the surface would look like makes someone happy. I'm definitely picking up travel. Um, tell me about the Six of Cups. Wow, so much. So much, so many aces. So there's another ace, Ace of Swords. That's, you know, truth, victory, clarity. It's like, but see here again, it's like been, there's something about a long journey. It's been a super long journey. See the staircase and then there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel, but there's a lot of thought about something from the past. Give me one more. There could be a father energy involved here. Tell me, give me one more on this six of cups. Hmm, avoidance. Interesting. Um, if somebody has a bit of an avoidant personality, it's, I think, I think it's just really important to understand where that comes from it does come from childhood it comes from lack of trust or not being valued and i think understanding um that it's not coming from a place of you know not caring i think that's just really important six of pentacles how they view you in the situation six of pentacles that's generosity in this keeps showing up too. The eight of sword, I mean the eight of wands, I just now realized it's in reverse. So that's not communicating. Maybe somebody hasn't been thankful or showed appreciation for how much somebody else has given or went out of their way. Tell me about the five of wands. Nine of cups. I, I just, I get that somebody feels like or has had the element of it's just easier to be on my own and focus on myself rather than to put myself out there and, and, and risk being abandoned again. There's something from childhood here or the past that is affecting things. And I do, I'm seeing pretty clearly an avoidance energy. Also, just to let you know, I have gotten the Empress. Now we have the Empress, but I have, did see a couple times the Emperor, you know, while shuffling. So that and divine feminine, divine masculine, um, you know, could be indicating twin flame. So nine of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody still just has some serious sadness. Hmm. And maybe they're kind of hesitating or avoiding love. But um, that's next, you know, we got knight of cups here. Um, 
Let's look at next what's going on with them in next actions towards you. Seven of Wands. Wow, look at that. Healing. Somebody is really putting in some work to heal. And if only one person is doing it, it's kind of like the, you, the energies will feel mismatched for a while. Until p both people are working on healing. Sometimes, especially if you've got a you know soulmate type twin flame connection, one person doing the healing work often will elevate the other. But if one person is really stuck or stead set on staying stuck in sadness and just dwelling, you know, um, that often can keep the energies mix mat mismatched. It can bring the other down, but it can also just keep the uh, energies mismatched. So make sure that if this is resonating, make sure period, it, you are doing the inner work also, because it looks like this person is either on the verge of or figuring out um, the need to heal and do some, you know, personal growth type stuff. Yeah, take action. And this high priestess keeps coming up too. Okay, so the seven of wands, that's, you know, kind of like, could be meditative. It's It's, it's, it's an inaction, but it's kind of still, it's a personal growth. It's kind of like an a understanding. Let me see how she's got that light coming from her. And then clarifying it was the Ten of Pentacles truth. Somebody is realizing that they, what is going to be, to, you know, a, a solid foundation. Also, just to show you, this page of Pentacles is kind of popping its head. But... Um, which could be an apology. Let's keep going. One more on that. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. So somebody is doing the work, but it is happening slow and stable, which is the way it has to. Because if knee jerk doesn't work when it comes to healing. We think, well, I'm going to focus on healing this year. That's what I used to think. I'm going to focus on healing this year and do this hard stuff I don't want to deal with. But it doesn't work like that. <laughs> you kind of go, it just kind of evolves and it keeps evolving. Um, but it is happening. So that's what's coming through is this person is really coming to the realization that they need to do some inner healing, inner growth. Um, they have a, you know, a little bit of a apprehension towards giving and showing affection because then it puts them in a vulnerable place. But they are starting to become aware of it. They may even become, realize that they are avoidant. Um, so definitely progress here. What's the chariot? Hmm. Look at that. Okay, this was in the pre-shuffle also. Page of Swords. That is kind of looking, watching, inquisiting, you know, inquiring, maybe look, checking into if somebody else is going to travel. But this is watching. The Page of Swords is a curious energy. It's a learning. It's exactly what we were just talking about. There is a perseverance of wanting to... This person may not have had any awareness in the past that they needed to grow. They may have just been like, nope, I'm better off on my own. But I think that's shifting. Here we have focused attention. Somebody's really focused on watching, probably you. Um, and then look at that, the world. They may be seeing you clear your energy, move on with that Six of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. Very, very powerful there. Let's see. What's Tell me one more on the Six of Swords. King of Pentacles. Again, I'm feeling some sort of father energy. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody has um, an overbearing father or... I don't know. I don't think, I'm not understanding how that... Why I keep getting that. Or maybe they are a father and maybe that's been a hindrance. You know... Um, yeah, so Queen of Pentacles, Queen of uh, King and Queen of Pentacles, that's a match. So po possibly parents in upbringing, somebody may have to break free. I'm not liking the way that feels though. So I'm, not, I'm feeling a glitch in that. It, the cards do look like there is a breaking free from parents or parenting, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel good to me. But there, look, breaking free. Wow. Maybe it's breaking free from an unhealthy connection. I just, but I keep getting parents. So you guys are going to have to 
forgive me for not understanding that and just put it where you know how it works but the fool is a new it's freedom it's a childlike energy maybe it's forgiving parents yeah instead of dwelling you know maybe it's kind of learning or growing getting coming to the understanding that my parents might have tried but they 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 weren't the perfect parents that just doesn't come with a handbook you know maybe the things that they pounded into my head or the beliefs they instilled in me weren't true maybe it's time to break free there's something with parents um and there again a lot of thought on that but it's been hindering something that connection somehow has been hindering okay bottom of the deck a decision the lovers gemini energy all right let's look at just outcome four swords again healing two of wands okay so we have an element of somebody really making a decision which way to go for their whole future not which way is easier not which way is expected maybe there's um breaking free of what others expect you know like fear of failure or fear of a failed relationship or a failed marriage this is more like what's going to be the best thing for my entire world my my future somebody's facing that is what i see but it definitely looks like someone's coming back so let's see if we get anything else you've got three aces you have return energy yeah okay so somehow this new beginning requires something to end a painful ending and then look at that ten of swords tarot blows my mind ten of swords walking away something ending something that's been that's got tenure something that's been going on for a while and then a whole new cycle begins we do have freedom of like releasing baggage so there is upbringing and you know family somehow in that and i'm going to say this because it came up earlier but i didn't say it there is a an element of maybe disappointing or letting something fall apart in order to be free to be happy again probably with you does that make sense to you guys but definitely um a return let me pull this you guys think about your yes no question pause it if you have to because i don't want you to i don't want you to um change your question after i let go okay and then i'll work on some oracles Um, I just also got that somebody may be having to let go of, you know, some money or it might cost, there might be some big tower or a big upheaval. Somebody may have to let go of family, you know, when you separate from a marriage or a relationship you have to go through, you lose a lot. It's not just that person, but it's that whole world that you had, that they had with them, okay? And I think in somebody's mind it's unacceptable or it's embarrassing, something like that. Chaos and conflict. Hmm. There and now. And the answer on the pendulum is maybe. So, um, and fork in the road. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is at a breaking point. We had that with the two of wands. And it's just a matter of facing up to making that change or that choice that's going to probably be very difficult at first, but then you get the reward of it further down the road you know but look at this how you know how that uh, leopard doesn't change its or zebra doesn't change its stripes or whatever somebody's changing somebody is probably realizing who and what they are and who and what is going to make them happy and having to really let go of past false beliefs okay you guys i'm gonna say this again i know i say this to you all the time make sure i, I mean look it up if you need to but my belief is that <laughs> this is so off the wall my belief is that you know breathe breathing through your nose is, and i've ch checked the science on this you guys if you're mouth breathing try to start learning to breathe through your nose it will expand your you know your nasal passages you get less viruses you get less germs your lungs get more oxygenated there are so many health benefits and i was on this big cake of trying to teach everybody this there for a while and then i got off of it and now i'm starting to notice i see a bunch of people breathing through their mouth um 
just look it up if you want to or trust me if you want to because i it's changed i mean i can breathe through my nose so much it's like your your nasal passages will eventually expand i know some of you are going what the heck is she talking about <laughs> anyway um nasal breathing very much so much healthier for you your lungs your cap like uh, your dent your oral hygiene um <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you so much. You've got a return. Somebody's doing some major um, personal growth and healing, and re there's a huge realization of what's gonna make them happy. And even though they have to go through something difficult to get back to you, that's what this is implying to me. Okay, I love you guys. Bye, Leo.